Welcome to What's Your Story. I am Pops, and this is the uh, series that I'm doing where I'm trying to examine like life lessons and words of wisdom and challenges and different thoughts that pop into my head. And hopefully you at home will enjoy some of those. And with me right here, great creator. You guys know I love. I'm representing Joker Voice himself. How are you doing, my brother? Oh, if I was any more amazing, I'd be illegal. Well, there you go. So Joker and I have become friends over the last several months. And um, one thing that uh, he has done is he's put himself into an arena and his passion that on the surface is in direct contradiction to challenges that he has in his everyday life. And I thought, well, you know, this is one of those things where I feel like, well, let's pull the let's pull the rug out from under people who just have an unlimited supply of excuses. And I'll throw Joker in the fire a little bit. He can talk about that and say, listen, you guys don't really have an excuse. Look at what I'm doing over here. I'm in a talking arena Mm -hmm. and I have a stutter. Mm -hmm. So (laughs) first off, um, did you always have a stutter? Were you born with a stutter? Is it something that you, you know, happened later on or I don't, I don't know the the backstory to that part. Okay. Um, Basically, for those of you who don't know what the way my stutter works is my brain moves way faster than the muscles in my uh, larynx. So the signal will get a short circuit. So my larynx do not open and close as, as uh, smoothly. Thus air does not pass through as smoothly, thus blockage of sounds. And that's where the stutter comes from. Hmm. And I've had this ever since I could talk. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you, did your family try to send you like, you know, speech therapy? Oh, yeah. Those kinds of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. All yeah. throughout school. Yeah. I think this is one of the reasons I related to you so early on, too, because I had a um, speech impediment as well where I couldn't say like TR sounds. Instead mm-hmm. of saying tra, it would be sha. So it'd be like mm-hmm. a shaler. You know what I mean? We're going right. to go on it. We're going to go on a ship, but I meant trip, which was fun whenever a ship is an actual word. So yeah, my, <laughs> my family was losing their minds with me. So I remember doing that. So I imagine. Uh, so what was it like as a kid? Uh, you know, because, you know, kids, kids are awful. Sure. Kids, kids are, are kids are awful. awful. Yes. Yeah. So how horrible was that? Oh, uh, let's see. In my really younger days, I'm going to date myself here. This is when. Uh, the Looney Tunes were still a, a thing. I got called a uh, porky pig a lot, not mm-hmm. because I was a round person, but because of this mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, later on in life, I got called names like Remix, uh, Broken Record, and whatever. Remix you know? actually sounds kind of cool. I know, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, that'll be that'll be the next set of shirts. It's, it's going to be <laughs> hashtag keep talking. The new ones will be called re- hashtag remix. There you like, go. Screw you people. I'm going to own my freaking <laughs> nicknames. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you've worked in a field where you've had to basically be a chatterbox pretty much as a profession. So that seems like a weird every, way to approach every, it. Everything I've had to do. In my in my adult life, I've had to talk. I was a my first job. I was a um, custodial host uh, at Disneyland, where I interacted with the public at all times. I was a teacher. I was a coach. I've done sales. I'm a bartender and on the YouTube's. So That's everywhere, so I have That's to talk. So what was? What was one of the best experiences doing something like that, like at you know at Disneyland or doing sales or something? This has got to be a really fun. Oh, there are some stories. Um, okay, well, give me give me a fun one there because that's got to be there's got to be a good nugget in there somewhere. Oh, that's obviously God. Disneyland. You know. uh, the best part about Disneyland is just watching people as they en- enter the park. They really just check their brains at the mm-hmm. park. Mm-hmm. Because I haven't asked some of the dumbest questions a human could ask. And um, I get asked, you know, where is the Magic Kingdom? You're standing in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got asked um, if I knew where the fireworks were g- going to be. And my response was, I'm, gonna, I'm going out on a limb. I'm going to say the sky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um my, Second people at people would ask like when's the midnight service? I got you. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I always that was my favorite for, as a pastor. Or, you know, being in the church was like, you know, do you do you know do you know yet when the midnight service is going to be? I'm like, 
Are you punking me right now? Because I feel like yeah. you're being I'm being punked right now. So. I got okay. asked I got asked numerous times what time does the 845 electrical parade start? Okay. okay. And my res- and my response was a quarter till nine. Gotcha. What uh, okay, it has to be tempting, right? So when you have things like this, you because I mean obviously I worked in radio for a while, even if it was like a side hustle. You know, you did you did you punk or prank call somebody using the stutter to your advantage? No, I, I did not. But one thing I the one thing I have enjoyed, um, I was working at a Buffalo the Wild Wings in Southern California, and I was a server. I was one of the lead servers there. I was a trainer. Again, have to talk, and mm-hmm. my um, the um, owner came in and. He's talking, and I said something, and I was walking away, and then he got a little uppity, and, and he's like, "What did you say?" And I'm like, "What did I stutter?" <laughs> <laughs> and just the look on his face of like, "Yep, gotcha, gotcha." <laughs> That's awesome. So wow. Okay, so obviously we all have like the d bag uncle or somebody. So. What family, I mean, how's the family? Because, I mean, you've had your whole life, so it's not like everyone's like, it's not like new to the information. But you right. get one of them who is like, hey. Uh, Honestly, no. No? Everyone's know. cool with like, hey, listen, I think you'd be a good server. You'd be good at Disney. You'd be all right. Or uh, There was nobody, there was no one who said, you know, you shouldn't do it. Okay. Um, okay. But there were other people, um, mm-hmm. pretty much pretty much the rest of the world, who said, mm. you stutter. You can't do this. And I said, oh, really? Watch me. Well, do you, so you, I want to say you monetize it, but it's like monetizing the hate, right? You're like, oh, yeah, you've motivated me to do it yes. now. Which I'm 664 subs away from that thousand mark. So let's just, just sub folks. Just. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> That's right. Hashtag keep talking, right? So we just keep going. Exactly. And man, I, guys, we're up to, we're over 300 already. Wow. I know yeah. I see, I know I see already. You're like, it can't be fast enough. But for me, it's like, I think when I first found you and was on your channel, I don't think we were at a hundred. I think it was below a hundred. I, I, I think, I think it, was, it was like I think it was like around seventy. Yeah, uh, it was, I think I remember. I remember kind of rejoicing in the first hundred, like, wow, oh, well, all right, we did. Well, there's one. There's one. Let's right? keep it going. So that's awesome. That's awesome. It's a fun. It's a fun journey. That's for sure. Oh, folks. definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, um, so obviously, I mean, you, you you're doing this like as a great side hustle now. I mean, you have a very consistent schedule. You're doing weekly oh, yeah. videos regularly. You're doing streams, that kind of thing. I haven't done streams yet. That's, that's a, no, no, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I misspoke. I'm not streams. that you were doing your own. You've been on streams. I'm sorry. Okay, you, yeah, just, yeah, you were yeah. participating in streams. Yes. Uh, you have to hear the excuses of other people and you have to like in your head, roll your eyes a little bit or no. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm too shy. Or I don't know. I could talk in front of. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm talking to a person that stutters, who does talking for people for a living. Going, I have a hard time talking in front of other people. It has to just be the best excuse. As a teacher, that had to come up, right? Oh, it came, it came up, but I would always every class I ever taught, every year I taught, that was the first thing I did. I talked about it the first day. Get it out in the open. There it is. And it diffused it. It was never a, a, ever an issue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Any of the kids or anybody tell you how much you motivated them? How much it, or you were an encouragement? I actually had, this was not from necessarily a student uh, from the, the classroom stuff, but from mm-hmm. my uh, coaching. I coached, uh, I coached women's, I coached women's vo- volleyball f- um, off and on for about tw- 20 years. And, I've coached every level from high school JV to NC to a division two. Mm-hmm. So um, I had a club team and a, a bunch of sophomores and um, one, one girl ended up, ended up playing full ride at a D- division one school. She played at Rutgers her entire life mm. okay. um, that her, and then she is now a, head coach at a um, junior college at a, no, not a junior, a private college down in Southern California. And I talked talk to her maybe a year ago and she said, I still teach 
the 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 some of the techniques that I teach, I learned from you, and I give it, mm. and I and I and it's 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 the way you taught taught me, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of that's probably the best compliment that you can ever get. Yeah, it, it definitely is, is something to be proud of to know that you're able to help. Uh, kind of feed into another person and, and help them on whatever mm-hmm. journey that is helping them in any way. Like you just, right. that's the best, right? It's like, you just, yeah, that's great. So I know when I first um, saw your videos and stuff like that, I, I gotta be honest. There's part of me was like, is he stuttering? Like, am I watching a YouTube dude? Like stutter his way through? Like, I, I don't, I, and I, you know, I'm not meant to, I would never insult you or ever mean to be right. personal. It's like, it was more like, He's got some, he's got some cojones, man. That's, that's some, that's some good stuff. I'm really, and I was like, okay, I'm down. Let's just, let's, let's check this out more. Let's see. You know, so, and we've, and we've, you know, we, we, we connect nearly at least two or three times, four times a week almost now. And now it's yeah. almost like we're constantly communicating and it's fun to see you grow as a content creator, meaning not necessarily like, you know, numbers. Like I, I, right. care, less, I care less about numbers. Right. But you really got a gro- you really got a groove and a routine now. I don't know. Do you feel that way? Do you feel yeah, like it's yeah? It's definitely got to the point where I'm like, okay, I got to get stuff because it's it factors into into my work schedule too. I mean, mm-hmm. so I'm at work. I work midnight to eight a.m. So I've got some downtime. I'm like, so if I'm I always bring, bring my laptop to work and I'm looking for stuff. I'm watching other co- content creators just getting little tweaks and nuance and stuff and i'm like okay let me try that and i'm just doing taking notes mm-hmm. scripting stuff out all, all the time just making thumbnails and i'm always doing something and i'm like because i need a video for this day and then depending on when a show drops i'm like okay so if if i'm gonna do if i'm gonna if this show drops on friday I, then i i need to move my i need to move my my um the Monday spot up like a day just just to keep that even break mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go, going around. So, okay, okay. Uh, do you have any other creators that you know that have um, a stutter as well or a similar sort of challenge um, or something like that? I know that um, I know that uh, Matt v- v- Vader from the Salty Nerd. Mm. Um, when he was younger had a had a stammer which is which is slightly different from a, a stutter okay so but yeah was, and he he he's pulled through he pulls through that well uh, but as far as like actively no i'm hmm. the only one that i know of i'm sure there's some out there sure sure no of course i mean there's millions and millions of us doing this or or at least dabbling so i have to be honest when you were on I think you were on with Troy when you talked about it and you were explaining your disconnect from your brain to your larynx. Mm-hmm. And I thought to myself, how come no one ever explained that? Cause I have like a massive, like well, we didn't have spectrum when we were kids. Like we did, there was no right. such thing as a spectrum. They didn't right. even have diagnoses. You were just a kid. Right. right. So now thinking. that I've, now that I've learned that I'm on the spectrum with, mm-hmm. you know, I'm riddled with all of these different little, letters and acronyms right i thought to myself so i have a similar situation with my brain and that's why every now and again i'll just say a random word that doesn't match like it'll Mm. just like not match my brain is probably in a different my mouth and my brain are not in the same place in the sentence slash paragraph gotcha and it's taken a while for my wife to kind of get used to that because she'll she'll be like nope that one missed i didn't understand (laughs) what you meant you know so every now and again (laughs) <laughs> and we knew, oh, and we knew I, just, I, I, I don't mean to laugh, but that just sounds. But, but I, that's but how it I works. Could, well, I could just imagine your wife. I, I've never met the mm-hmm. better, but 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 just knowing you, I'm sure she's like, no, nope, don't get that one. You got it. Let's <laughs> let's let's say that again. Let's try that again. <laughs> Every now and again, it'll just be like you're saying something, and next thing you know, you realize she goes, "You you said this." I'm like. Did I really? And I, <laughs> when you said what you said to Troy and how you explained it, and you kind of explained it here again in kind of short form. And that was yeah. like, that kind of makes sense. Like your brain like disconnects from a different part of your other functionality. So therefore 
the sinking is what's out of whack. Like right. it's just, you know, so yeah, um, and, that's fascinating. And, and for me, it, it's just my brain moves way faster. So mm -hmm. the muscles in my larynx can't catch up. Hmm. Okay. Do you have, um, are there any like mechanisms to make that better or worse for you? Like are there certain exercises or things that you can do or not do, or is there anything really that makes a difference? It's I've I've tried them I've tried them all sometimes if I'm getting if I know I'm gonna have a a sentence with a lot of consonants that give give, give me problems I, I will kind of like just do like a do a finger tap to make a cadence because mm. it because if there's a if there's a rhythm and there's a beat because stutterers never stutter to when they sing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard you say that, but I never that that still blows my mind. Yeah. That's still just a different thing there that's that's kind of hard to and fathom I, that's how our human bodies work right and then i and then i dabble in i dabble in a little bit of um of a the voice over i'm in a uh, i'm in a project where i'm a voice of a character that's being the pilot um is being shipped around f for um to um possible platforms to get um a, a, a animated series and when i'm doing my script work i don't stutter either because i've got a i've got the character's rhythm and pace in my head and i just get into that space and i don't stutter that way i i actually have a i actually have i actually have i actually have a i actually have a i actually have a plushie of the character that the that the creator sent me hmm so when you do Joker, it's the same thing. You're in a rhythm, and it's, right. like it's, it's like a different type of thing. So therefore, it's not your <laughs> own. So you're almost like switching your brain to a different mode, mm -hmm. and therefore everything syncs up. Wow! Right. So that wow, that's really cool. So you could do voices, and there'd be no. See, going back to the waiter story, you could just do a voice going up to the table, then not stuttering. And if they, if they give you any grief at all, then you stutter. You're like, this made me stutter. So I've done that before. I've done that before. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've done with your Joker voice? Uh, Joker? No, I nothing with Joker. But I, I did go up, up to a table. I, I did go up to a table, and I'm like, so you know, thank you for showing up tonight. I just want to say that the mango habanero sauce is very tasty. Very tasty. Just, just doing, just doing my best. The, the walk-in, my walk-in impression, which basically means ignoring, ignoring any form of punctuation marks or anything like that. Yeah, it's just one big run-on sentence. Yes, with these weird ups and downs of just it's such a strange cadence that the man has it's 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 really just fascinating yes. to listen to, to be honest and then when you see certain movies now it's like it's like it's broken for you because once you have the walking voice in your head and you're like seeing yeah. new scenes and you're like i just can't take this scene serious anymore <laughs> you're like, it's freaking me out it's freaking me out right yeah. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. So uh, obviously, you know, we talked about people uh, excuses. There's always an excuse. There's always an excuse not to do something. Uh, how long did you sort of like dabble with the idea of doing content creation and doing the video thing? How was it just um, something? Are you are I, you your own worst enemy, or did at some point they just the light went on? And you're like, okay, let's try this. I was I was a big I was I've been a big avid. Um, YouTube, the watcher, um, for people call it, people call it, people call it the fellowship. I call it, I'm with the, 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 the razor fist. I call it the new iron age mm -hmm. and, you know, watching midnight's edge and then the salty nerd and, uh, the salty nerd crew, they live out here in Las Vegas too. So I got to meet them and I did a live stream with Alex the one night and just doing just like we're t talking here and it just kind of lit a little fire and I'm like, okay, something I, I, I could do when to start. And I started my first, um, regular, uh, con content with the book of Bo Bo Boba Fett. So in tw 24 days, it will be the, the one year on YouTube. Wow. Congratulations. That's a Thank fun you. time to know that like, we're just, yeah, that's awesome. And I'm sorry that you started on Boba Fett. I mean, that's that's, I, that's tragic, I, but I understand. I, 
I like the first two episodes. The the two non Boba Fett episodes were probably the best two. Um, it it's about a C plus at, at best. I mean, it's it's better than Kenobi, but better than Kenobi. Uh, yeah, we could debate that. Two different reasons are bad. Two different. Right. <laughs> we can same thing with the Marvel. We can debate Loki versus She Hulk. It's like canon breaking versus <laughs> just just just, just God horrible. Awful. Yeah, yeah. It's like the same kind of thing for me with Boba Fett and Kenobi. It's like two different things. So when you hear okay, so people hopefully are watching this at some point or another, and they're like, "Oh, I overcome for this." Goes, I'm going to change. I think I need to change the title to be more reflective of how to overcome. Um, physical challenge to become a content creator or something like that. Something that's something that reflects the challenge. And so people would be more curious. Cause I want to, I want to try to make sure that people understand that you're your own worst enemy. Right? Oh, definitely. Cause you've said your whole life you've had this. So mm -hmm. you've been constantly working net, working through and navigating around being successful, finding ways to be successful, mm -hmm. dealing with critics, dealing with naysayers and haters and all the other nonsense. Uh, what and, do you say? What do you say and, to folks? Oh, go ahead. And, and the largest, and the largest, nay, the biggest naysayer of all is the one right, right in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The guy looking back in the mirror is always the worst critic. Mm -hmm. What What would you tell? joker voice on like video number two like you did your first boba fett video like you said almost a year ago you're at video number two and you could give yourself a word of advice or encouragement or something like that you got something you would be able to say tell yourself um i would say short i would say sh shorten up your con content because i because right now i'm at about i'm my con content so somewhere between eight to twelve like eight to twelve eight to twelve minutes my first two videos were like 25 almost half an hour mm, and i'm okay. like i just sh shorten it up tighten it up short and sweet you know mm -hmm. give give folks enough to what will give folk i mean don't don't spill the whole cart give them something and then have them come back for for more okay okay so to get back to the title or the, at least our driver we're shooting for is so what do you say to the person that maybe they have maybe they have a stutter maybe they don't but they have some sort of uh challenge that they have in front of them whatever that may be what's one of the things that you would say to them i would say if you're passionate about some, something just share it this is this is just your this is just a a vehicle to share what you're passionate about i mean i mean pops you and I talk, I mean, you and I talk about just nerdy comic book stuff, TV shows, movies. I mean, I am a, I'm a movie and TV, movie and TV junkie. I, I don't like to read books that, that much. So I will, I will watch the film in, instead of read the book, which mm -hmm. I've been told the books are always better. I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Your word for it. Yep. Yep. I'm with you. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm up and down with reading. Like it's just one of those things. And, uh, you know, yeah. you do it, you do it cause you, you get, you have to have a passion to want to make the next video, right? Yeah. That's something else you want right. to talk about. Right. And there, there have been weeks where, I mean, and I'm sure you've had, I don't too, where, where it's like, uh, I don't know what I want to talk about. I don't, I don't know. And then all of a sudden something will pop up. And it's like, okay, okay. Now here we go. I used to have the problem. Now I'm doing retrospectives and stuff. So now there's no shortage. Yeah. Now it's like it's Good. super fun to find something old. I'm also a cheater. I love anniversary stuff. So I love like Thursday I'm doing this, the 30th anniversary of A Few Good Men. Okay. So it's always an easy thing to just find, Good film. you know, a, an anniversary that ends in a zero or a five. Right. And just. There you go. You got a topic for the week or the day or whatever it is, and just oh yeah, you know, guys, no, it's gonna be the twenty fifth anniversary, it's the fortieth anniversary of Dark Crystal. You know, it's like it's a chance to just blow five to ten minutes talking about something, even if you pick just a piece of the, you know, what I mean, so right. Uh, which, but, which, which I must say, I've I've really enjoyed your Batman the animated series stuff. 
Oh yeah, I can't wait to have the next one drop. I'm 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 really enjoying having those two. Could I do the X Men one as well? Um, they're, they're 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 really great. They're not alike at all, and I get I get them I get the motivation in both of them. But even like the anniversary stuff, like when I did um, when I first met Troy, okay. uh, we did Dunkirk and Darkest Hour. Okay, and it was just fun to discuss a good you know good content like usually right. usually these retrospectives are not hating on something that's old i got enough of the new stuff to hate on it's usually <laughs> going back and finding something old like we just did fat man we just did a talk hard on fat man it's like well most people haven't seen seen fat man and i'm like i'm not saying it's the never best it. thing ever i've never heard of it oh it's a it's a mel gibson as santa claus christmas movie oh, and it's rated okay. r oh, and it's rated r like how many of this niche could there be? And I, I didn't see it right away. And then I saw, it, I'm like, this is actually pretty good. I actually like it, you know? And it's like, and it was fun going through the process of, because I usually watch for talk cards. I usually watch them twice in the week leading up to it. And uh, to revisit something like that. Right. Uh, so my point was, and I think you, 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 you definitely share this is like, you have to have a passion to want to make the next video. Like you're Absolutely. always seeking for something that, you know, yes, you may be doing regular reviews. Maybe you need to want to try to do, I want to focus on something positive every week, or maybe right. you want to do, right? You don't seem to have any, we kind of share that process, but um, do you have sort of a structure of how you go about, like, if I got that notebook, what am I going to find as far as, like, how does the brain kind of, like, you know, put together, like, the next lists and those well, kinds I, of things? I just, I just kind of, um, I, I kind of almost make it like a script. So, mm -hmm. so I can get, because, but, but then again, I'm not doing anything in any character voice. So there's, and so the stutter is going to come through and I want, I actually want the stutter to come through. So, um, so people can see, oh, this guy's a stutterer and he, he's a stutterer and he has a, U, a YouTube channel. The, what am I making excuses for here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, just I, I basically took notes like I did in college, college and high, college and high school. I, I I find the points that I want to hit. I just I expound on, on them. I do a greeting. I do a closing. That's basically this. There's not. It's a very simple process. But do you jot down like? Uh... Like when you like good movies to watch, things you haven't seen, or something like that. You have like lists of, you know, is there like a list of like these five things that Joker hasn't seen yet, or like these? No, are the next, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. That just kind of comes through, like, like my one for the, um, like my one I did for my twenty twenty two review for the weekend or, or on mm -hmm. Monday. I don't know if you can tell, but this is basically okay. It. Right. Okay. Great. Perfect. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, the yeah. wife the wife got me uh the five ring five section ring notebook thing oh, during the wow. uh, yeah. So then like all the sticky notes went away. Like I was able to just consolidate I'd, I added divide, div dividers and consolidated all of this nonsense into some I call them filters. Like all of this goes like whoop, right. into something that I can kind of manage. It's now, still all there. It's just a cluttered mess, and I just kind of keep pulling them out like that. I would love to. I, I would love to find like some old, old school, uh, and some old school tra trapper keeper notebooks and make and make those into like my like little. Oh, like what a, we could like find what? You a trapper keeper on eBay or something. <laughs> get you, yeah, we'll get you hooked up with a trapper keeper. But, uh, yeah, I just love those things. Yeah, like, they when, were they were like transformers. There were so many cool doodads and stuff built yes. into the thing. Yes. Why do we ever stop making this? I, I don't know, understand. Right? I know, right? Yeah, I know, I know. And don't you feel like how stupid humanity is that they ditched the thermos? Basically, like the thermos become like. Like hard to find, and now suddenly everyone wants all these fancy metal cups and stuff again. Yeah. And you're like, you guys it's know we spent like 25 years where we couldn't find this kind of stuff. And we all had them when we were kids. Like, thanks for yes. coming back to the party, by the way. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, we could talk about that kind of stuff for like an hour, <laughs> just in and of itself, about the stuff from our childhood that's like right. this. Because... So, so I have to ask you this, and cause, sure, because we're again the Batman in animated series. 
what are your three favorite animated series episodes? Oh, I don't. I, I want to rewatch them all before I say oh. that. I think I'm gonna. Okay. I think I'm. I'm gonna keep watching every single one, having okay. videos on every single one, and then I think at the end, I'm gonna try to list sort of like some sort of ranking of five or ten or something. Ooh. Obviously, right out of the get go, the Heart of Ice is such a game changer because. Yes. And actually, Ironcaster brought this up during Talk Hard, either on the show or in the green room, about how much it made Mr. Freeze an A-list villain. Yes. And I will admit, I have um, never had a major affinity for him in the comic books. Like, it was, just, it was just never really a thing. And anytime I think about Mr. Freeze, I think about the animated series version. Because but Mr. Freeze used to be this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mr. Zero. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I can just tell you this. Um, the one thing that struck me is as revisiting it completely fresh for it's been many years since I've watched them all. Now, if they've, if they've come on in the nature of our life, because especially we're having so many kids and stuff, we've, right. we, they're just on. Um, but to drop in like the physical copies and sit and watch them, I had kind of forgotten or at least less appreciated that I am now like on episode six or seven. I forget which episode I'm on. Still, no Riddler, Joker, Penguin, right. Right. Weird Scarecrow. We're still dealing with. I mean, Catwoman's a mainstream, top notch villain. They started with that, but then you ended up with Man know, Bat, Man Bat, and then Mister Freeze, and then Clayface. So it's like uh-huh. you. What you see is different about that series is this world building, this world expansion of what was in the comic books. So we're going to do this. We're not even we're not adapting comic books per se. We're just going to write stories that fit in the universe. These are our rules. This is our structure, and this is what we're doing. Whereas X Men is a, more of a ensemble cast of characters right. obviously right. and they are really really tied to the comic books they are really like first i actually i i don't know if i i have another video yet i just did notes i had notes about cable being dropped in this episode just because they're selling comic books about cable e- even though the real cable shows up in season two like this is not right. really cable it's just it's cable in name because we're, we're selling comic books and he's a hot commodity right now there right. there there's a lot of like little nuances that are very tied to comic book and merch compared to the Batman approach, completely two different approaches. And that's why I hate as I've struggled watching them simultaneously. I hate comparing things that are kind of like not, you know, it's, 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 it's it's an orange and an apple. It's not a pineapple, but it's it's an orange and an apple. They're very similar, but they're not really fair to compare them to one another. Um, I'm very much looking forward to keep going with this for a while. It, it'll take me a long time when I go oh, this yeah. slow because I because I think about a video. I did. I am. I am going to conv- combine Man Bat and Mister Freeze into one video because the way they introduce the villains together, you know, it's like one after another. But then Clayface is it's like a two parter that kind of. I don't want to do too many episodes in one video because I want to try to really do it justice and gotcha. explain. And especially if I run into something I think that could be interesting, which. I'm not sure how much I'm offering to the table because I am I, I I'm kind of a noob when it comes to sort of the animated universes because I've never done dive deep really you know what I mean I've watched them and appreciated them and loved them but off the top of my head referencing this issue I'm not that's not my that's not my ballywick and I would be pretending that I, I don't do that I don't right. do that at all so I'm right. loving it thanks for bringing it because I really am enjoying it I really right. it's making my day it's making my week because I usually right. end on the high <laughs> notes <laughs> I try to film those at the end I try to get through some of the other stuff I don't enjoy as much um, I'm enjoying Indian cinema for the same reason like I enjoy I enjoy good content I enjoy good movies right uh, and, and, I, and um and uh, RRR was was a gateway was, drug for me Gateway was, drug for you, yeah. Was was a uh, one of the films that that I said was the best of twenty twenty two. Yeah, it, yeah, it, by far, it's definitely oh, yeah. in, that, in that conversation. Um, it it it's just one of those things where you want to do and enjoy good things, right. and, and and part and, of this thing, whether you have a stutter or not, you're following that love and sharing that and that right. opinion with people. 
and for other people to stop themselves short saying, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. Because yeah, I've told people, says, then just hide behind the avatar. I'm in the middle of trying right. to set up an interview. And I did get one person who I've talked to before. Uh-huh. Um, and I like I tried to express to this person that, 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 that that's the person that books them. And I said, just have them stay behind their avatar. I don't right. even think they know what I'm talking about. I don't think they understand that you just hit stop cam and they're just a little little picture. It's okay. Like no one cares. Yes. No right. one like no this. one cares. Oh, which by the way, it's funny because I don't think we've I don't think we've we've ever had just our avatars. That's a, that's oh. funny. Look. I am Batman. You are Joker. Ah, yes, I am. Hello, Batsy. No, it's the the prince. He's out of control again. <laughs> only on the, only on Thursdays. <laughs> only on Thursdays. That's funny. Uh, I just I I don't know. I guess I have worked out my bugs over the course of the years of whatever issues I have and things like that. For me, I just kind of treat it second nature, and I probably come across as being insensitive and callous to people. But with my just do it sort of demeanor, mm-hmm. um, but I thought talking with you is like, well, you know what, guys, I don't want to tell you. I mean, he's a role model to me because it's like, it's the brand. I like, I, you know, what do you want me to do? It's like, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, a bald old white guy talking about comic books from 40 years ago. What do you want from me? Just do it. Just talk about it. So, um, but do you, I mean, have you had haters in this? little interweb thing really um there was one person who kind of i was on a stream with them and they have a handicap as well and they have their a uh, amputee but um it's their leg and they were talking about their handicap as if it's on a higher level than mine and i am just like you can hide yours i can't hide mine Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. I would tell people first off, don't be that person. Don't be in a peeing contest over who's yeah, got what yeah, issue. Yeah. It's like trying to be the same side of that. It's like I'm smarter than you, kind of peeing contest. It's like, why are you doing that? Like, yeah, why? It's, why? it's, it's just dumb. Necessary. It's just dumb. Like, don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, I definitely would. De- yeah, I would definitely not condone anything. Uh, first off, I don't want any drama in a live presentation. That's just, no. I, I'm no, I would just take someone right out of it. No, we are not doing that live. If you have an issue, we go behind the scenes. We are not doing that crap live. No, I'm too old for this nonsense. Exactly. I got enough drama in my life. I don't need it on my YouTube experience as well. So. Right. I will tell you that um, we have had such similar perspectives on things and we've bonded so quickly. Like It, it has been... Like- like almost like like almost like like ninety percent the. I oh, usually a disagreement. That. Again, this is again. I think that it's you tend to flock towards people who share interests, and then the second level will be, be commonality. Right. Uh, the fighting is usually, or the disagreement is over degrees. Right. 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 So I think this is a bigger issue than this person or that. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, because I kind of want to have. I would love to have certain people on to talk about what I think they're saying is a positive about something that I disagreed with. But then when you start to really listening to their details, when they're talking about it, they'll be like, well, I found this to be, you know, really slow or whatever. And I'm like, well, I consider that to be a much bigger issue to me than obviously right. they do. You, know, you and I, what, what little differences, I think probably like house of dragon would be fun or we would probably disagree a lot more on nuances uh, because I, I felt like I was, I, I, I felt a little ticked off with the way the show ended because I feel like you're just shed, setting up another season. You didn't really deliver. <laughs> you gave me a whole lot and then I didn't really get anything. That wasn't the, the wet fart that I got with Andor where I had like all of this and then just, poof, that's like, what? And everyone's like loving. So, but you and I don't usually disagree much at all about these kinds of things. No. Um, but I, but I didn't do this because we're buds. I did this because I thought I respect you. I respect yes. the fact that you persevere through something that requires you to talk on public record forever 
Because mm-hmm. technically, let's just presume. I mean, you really actually. I mean, I know you don't approach it as a PG thirteen thing like I do. Mm-hmm. You very rarely put yourself in a situation where you you don't have any copyright issues or anything. You don't no. use any type of content that puts your real your content at risk. Really, have you uh, had any flags or anything? Really, no, I haven't. And uh, there there have been times when something has um, where something has dropped, and I, I will actually I'll actually bring my I'll actually bring my webcam and and my mic to work with me and and i've actually had i've actually had my camera put placement and i'm like okay are any of my tv screens showing and mm. if ever there is one i i i, I turn off that that screen wow. just in case just in case don't even want to deal with it yeah yeah well i you know i've been struck down at the knees like i mean i can't even tell you the, the devastation that you go through and for me it was even well, no, never mind. I'll, I'll scratch that from the record. For me, it was devastating because back then there weren't even tools. You didn't even have clips and mute options and things like that in your video editing after right. the fact, like they do now. It was you're just not monetized, and you okay. don't know where to begin. You just like, well, what, what? You send emails and help the tickets and forums, and no one ever. You just don't know. You don't. You're like, you know, if you're a thousand videos in. You're like, well, is it a new one? Because I deleted right. the one I thought was the issue. It's like that I'm still not monitored. I'm like, yeah. So for me, I just I've yeah. learned the game a little better, I guess. But and, I don't nothing. No as, one's safe. And as and as far as like you know doing stuff like that, I'm looking next year to kind of I I need to learn how to edit so I can add little things here here and there to just kind of break it up a little bit and i've been watching folks and i've been like t- timing their mm-hmm. their things mm-hmm. and i'm like okay so if it's if it's okay it's, it's, it's about this long about this long i'm just finding that average yeah length. seven seconds seven to eleven seconds is kind of your sweet spot depends on where the edits are like what, what you can get away with like right. i was shocked I, I did like the top gun theme but i did like the you know just it's like seven but with the Stranger Thing remix, which is supposed to be copyright free, I got away with like 17 because it's been remixed. I, right. I, I test them all. I don't know if people do that or not, but I like will just do it. Just don't publish it. Just do upload right. it. Mm-hmm. Let it go through the copyright check process and it will right. flag it. Right. However, nothing is foolproof because I did an interview with Graham Nolan. He showcased his Indiegogo trailer and it has mm-hmm. Western music in it. Okay. That interview went up fine. And it was weeks, if not months later, the first clip got flagged. Okay. All the way to yesterday, I'm still getting flags on different clips and things like wow. that. And all I do is hit mute song. I don't even bother with it. I emailed him. He didn't have any suggestions. And gotcha. He's like, I don't know why they do these. They're like, you know, it's just YouTube. They're not even, you know, I could probably dispute it longer, but it's easier just to mute because who cares? It's mute yeah. the song. So, um, what is, um, the one biggest challenge as a stutterer going forward for you, whether it be on this or in your life, what's, is it? Um, there are times when I have been here getting ready to do, getting ready to record or something and just a sound or a word that is just not coming out. No Mm. matter how hard I tried, no matter how many times I tried to reset, and usually I, I can think of a word ahead of time because my brain moves pretty fast that I can program that word in, in, into the sense ahead of time so it doesn't come out as rough. And sometimes it just gets fr- it's frustrating and that will work too. And I just I stop. I'm just like, mm, that's annoying. Sure. And, and then because because I don't edit anything on, on my content, it's all, it's all mm-hmm. on the complete – to one take i mean i i've been at the i've been doing my outro and just completely just botch the entire thing and i'm like now i, I gotta do a whole thing over again Ugh, that's annoying we're gonna have to borrow from ryan and put like a blooper reel together <laughs> <laughs> because it would make people so uncomfortable <laughs> they would sit there like am i supposed to laugh or not laugh or am i supposed like, to watch i don't i feel 
dirty by watching this. Yeah, this is exactly. <laughs> I, I love making people feel that uncomfortable. Like really, because I, you know, I, you know, I had this like, yeah, you know, I play the pastor card and the PG thirteen card, where people right. will be like, you know, I feel like I shouldn't. I'm like, why? You don't want to say this, and I'll say things like, you know, vagina, and they'll be like. <laughs> makes you uncomfortable doesn't it um Awkward. how is it how is it meeting uh new people you know coming in um, and you know going navigate you're at a bar and stuff it happens every day but reality um, is you know i i've got my regulars they all know me so mm -hmm. it's never an issue um i'll tell you what was um it with the uh, vegas um uh, the, the meetup was meeting pe people like Gary and uh, Chris Gore mm -hmm. and, you know, meeting them and they were, they don't know me from Adam. I mean, they, I don't think, I don't think Gary, I mean, I mean, knowing Gary now he knows who I am, but prior to that, I'm just like, Oh, you're just, Oh, Oh, oh okay. You have a channel. Cool. And then, but, um, but, uh, but Gary said, you know, come, come come find me and and we talked for like a good maybe 20 the minutes and stuff on just making content and just being just keep the just keep the pet ash and go just keep your pet just keep you keep your pet ash and going because you know this is what gary does all the time i mean for him it's work but he's enjoying it so it's really mm -hmm. not work are you surprised at how like supportive and forgiving the community slash fellowship slash alliances. Uh, I, I, well, yeah, pretty I much. Am too. Yeah. I am too. Yeah, I, I, mean, I did. I did not have this in the other circles. Like you know, uh, again, I played in more you know tougher water, rocky waters. Obviously, you don't talk about religion and politics, and that's where I was living, swimming most of my days. Right, but. It was also like you're treated like a competitor. You're treated like opposition. You stole right. from me. You stole my idea. You stole my take. You stole here. I mean, I tell I've told people the story. I had like you know, I sent a super chat to Gary, basically asking if it was basically okay to make content when I agreed with his take. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, right. but he basically, he basically said, um, "Not only is it okay, I need you to. I want yes. you to." I yes. want more people saying the same thing so they will know that it's a louder voice and not one right. guy. Right. And I'm and like, that's, oh, okay. That's what, and that's what, and that's basically the same thing he told, told, told me. He, mm -hmm. he, he was like, look, you, you know, if we agree, please say what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if I catch something that you, that you say that, that I'll, that, that I like, I'll, I'll repeat that. So we're, we're just constantly just echoing each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's getting, it's to, to the point where even normies who my uh, normie show friends even have gone, have gone as far as to say, Oh, you know, the, the shills is so like, uh, the MCU is not a thing. And, and I'm like, how do you know that term? And they're, they're like, because it's said all the time. I'm like, then it, then guess what? It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely have embraced a lot of those things even more than I have. And it has been refreshing to see because like you've said that during different shows and different streams. You've talked about this. And it's fun hearing that story because, like, you know, early on, that's a comment or whatever. It's like a, it was like a Gary thing. Right. And gradually over time, and I, I forget when it was, it was a few weeks ago or something. Like it's probably during She Hulk. And you'd made a comment about it, whatever, and you kind of kind of shared a similar story with somebody, and you're like, no, no, it's kind of a thing because you already know what it is. The writers of this show already know what it is. Hmm, I think they're listening. Yeah. Oh yeah. Made me laugh. It made me laugh. It's good stuff. So. Yeah, and then and then I I also spent time uh, talking to um talking to a. Chris Gore, just a that oh, guy. I, I, yeah, that, I guy, been, I, that guy is an encyclopedia on just movie, and just, I'm, I'm like, I, and I'm like, I want to just hang out with you for like a day. Yeah, Chris. Chris also ran like, like, cause I did a lot of film festival work too. So when you're in the film festival world, you've been experiencing this woke stuff for basically the whole time. You've experienced you know, heard, all yeah. of this. It's just now it's bled over in the mainstream stuff and you're just shaking your head. And I always go back to like some of these movies. The biggest problem is, is, is the, 
budget is out of whack with the expectations. Oh it's like it's like you know you could have just made this movie for like two million bucks and you'd be like you'd be you'd be heralded as a hero right about now. Right. Instead, you spent thirty million dollars well, and you, you you won't work again for two years. Have you heard the well, pick one about <laughs> Indy Five about Indy Five? Oh, the financial stuff. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what to believe. So, what do you have for numbers? I don't even know what the latest uh, numbers I th- are. I think I heard from. T- uh, I think I, I, th- I think it was from. I think it was from. Uh, I think it was uh, Tom and Chris. I think we're talking. Uh, well, it's been in reshoots for so right. long and so right. many times. It yeah. has to be. If it's not already, it has to be getting close to two hundred million dollars. Oh, it's though that that was the initial book. Oh wow! Uh, if it's gone over that, they're screwed because yeah, you get you get to three hundred, four hundred million dollars well, to, because, to because distribute this mess. You'll never make that up because they basically reshot the film twice. Wow! Yeah, then you are probably close to the three hundred, three fifty, oh, four hundred. Yeah, you're, I think you're looking somewhere around, and plus with uh, reshoots because no one's no one is telling Kathy no because she wants this film the way the way she wants it. You could be looking up to five. How could you mess up making a profit on Indiana Jones movie? How can, how can you mess? How can you the mess up Star Wars? Well, that was a progression of messing up. So I got that process better than this. This is like anyway. So <laughs> wow, mm. yeah, that's a lot to process for this old right, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, that's how it works. And I would love to sit down with someone like Chris Gore and just, oh, I don't yeah. know, we'd just, just like a play a Russian roulette of topics and just shoot the BS with because he's, uh, he's great. To listen. I will yeah. admit, though, he and I do not agree on taste. We would, we would be fun to disagree. We disagree on a lot of these things. Right. Um, because he'll see something and he'll, I'll, I'll be kind of hesitant or something like that. And he'll either have a extreme like or dislike. And that usually motivates me to, sort that out the more extreme his response is the more likely i'm interested in reviewing it so right well my friend it's hashtag keep talking so yes. what is in line for joker like all right we're at we're coming up on your one year anniversary you're looking at a new year mm-hmm. so it's kind of like a nice time to recalibrate refresh refocus and all that what is your approach to uh planning out uh, where you're doing next I think what I'm gonna do, uh, and this is just tossing some ideas around. I I want to I, I want to delve into streaming. It just technology is not my friend, so I've got a I've got a major a learning curve for that. I want to I I, I, I want to learn how to do some editing so I can actually make uh, make some smoother videos and add little little tidbits here and there just to mm-hmm. make it a little more fun. And I would like to kind of maybe have something that is a regular topic every day of the week and ex- go from my my normal f- formula of two, three, two, three, two, three to something that's a more consistent three, maybe a, maybe a three, four, three, mm. four, three. Sure. So just making it more. Just okay. always. And, you know, I'll be learning stuff along the way so right learning all, all this new technology stuff because honestly that scares the living the bejesus at, at, out of me because i don't want to screw up so right right no no i understand that i mean listen i just did talk hard and we couldn't share the video it's still buffered we just i mean it was a freaking mess it's always i mean you were on a stream i did where i wasn't even on my own stream like i just i kept getting kicked to my i couldn't get to, to work i was right. like a mess and you guys were running my show for like <laughs> on and off for like 15 minutes it was just i wouldn't i had to completely leave shut the computer off and come back and it's like oh i guess i'll watch the Video <laughs> after the fact and find out what even happened with Ryan dancing and all sorts of shenanigans were going on. So it was all right. It's fine. Because, you know, it's just life gets in the way. Life's just going to do that to you. And you kind of have to get to it's like having the thick skin to the insults. You know what I mean? It's kind of you have to have a thick skin to the oh, problems yeah. and the errors and stuff that's beyond your control. And like I said, we were talking about earlier. It's like I've been pleasantly surprised and grateful that everyone has been so forgiving of that. Right. You know what I mean, it's not like I was discussing the problems we were having, and suddenly now there's no one in chat. Like everyone left. It's like oh, right. the number didn't really change that much. Right. It's like oh, okay. So 
because everybody understands like i'm not doing it on purpose you know right. i don't want my video to sound like crap i don't want it to buffer you know right. so and uh, and i think that's probably the one thing that i will if i was if i'm to give any ad, an advice is um develop a thick skin because mm -hmm. this is this you know hold that thought really quick hold on that'll help with pretty much every aspect of all of this and and just life in general but you know because the more you do the more likely you're going to insult or step on a landmine or do something that will offend somebody. And actually, usually it's stuff that um, you didn't expect would cause a problem or a reaction. Usually right. it's something else. And that's when it starts to hurt because you're, you're kind of shocked or surprised by it. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't agree more thick skin or, and just water off the duck's back, man. Like what the, what the heck do you right. hear? You don't meet these people. I mean, Worst case scenario is it's somebody that you used to stream a lot with or whatever. And reality is, for me, I don't even have an objection to people. I just can't manage this many people. I, I have people <laughs> I haven't kept in contact with. And it's like, there's no aversion. It's just juggling. It's like, I'm right. sorry, you just haven't floated to the top. You haven't been someone, you know, someone to say, oh, like, oh okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's, do, let's set something up. But like, right. I, would, I don't even have someone that I'm avoiding. It's right. just... Exactly. The machinery, the machinery of doing all of this right. is a lot when you have a full time job and family and life. Right. So the right. thought of <laughs> the thought of people getting mad, I'm like, stand in line, man. Right. I don't, I, and that and that was something that I that was something that I in my early my first couple months, like like I would like I would uh, I would be subscribed to certain channels, and I would I'd be like, okay, I I I've, I've got to watch I've got gotta watch this stream and, I, and then i have to watch this stream and i thought was just and i'm like okay you know what I, i'm gonna make myself crazy everyone you know if i'm a regular in a in a chat and if i'm not there for a, a day the earth is still gonna turn the this, this, the sun will still rise yeah they've outed me i i've I'm, I'm become notorious for listening to everything at one and a half to two speed so for those of you at home <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, so I will be on with Ryan tomorrow night, and I will 100% guarantee he will bring it up because he brings it up all the time, mocking me. And I'm like, I, like I sound it. like a chipmunk. I said, actually, Ryan, you don't sound that different, to be honest. I mean, it is a little weird because I listen to so much of that that way that when I hear people regular, it is a little strange at times because Loki laughed. Like the first time I told Loki, he's like, I can't believe it, dude. I'm like, yeah. I said, I can't listen to the song. I have to fast forward past your intro because the music's mm -hmm. like crazy if it's sped up like that. Uh, but that way I can at least consume more content. I'm not saying, you know, right. you can never keep up because you really can't keep up. No. Um, but all right, my friend. Well, listen, uh, first off, hashtag keep talking. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that stuff before below, guys. I'm telling you, don't you just want honest content? Don't you just want people who will just like tell you and don't really give an S? Like, don't give a flip. Like, I mean, he and I are kind of like, Look, you're not hurting our feelings if you disagree with us. Just you're not. you know, don't be a jack wagon about how you tell us you disagree. Just tell us why you don't disagree. And we have and actually we'll have fun chatting about what we like or don't like. And we may even ask you to come on and talk about it or something. Who knows? Right. And um, I, I, I always tell folks, you know, some of the more more of the shillery type folks, I I tell them, look, you come to my channel, you're gonna get hot takes, you're gonna get some truth. It may not be the truth you want to hear, but it's the truth you might need to hear. Oh, look at you stirring up the trouble. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That's kind of Ken Kenobi was the one that I stirred up the most trouble with. Whoa. Because I really I really squashed a lot of emotions and people's like oh, I, so I, I I don't know what you people are watching. I'm watching a dumpster fire. And um yeah. So yeah, I've not been kind to Disney product and I don't ever expect to have like real press access again once this, everything I have expires or I'm off the. Actually, at the end of the year, it can just end at any moment because 
uh, when they catch on to how much I've been crapping on their stuff. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All I keep going is, yeah, I liked Werewolf by Night. Your Guardian yeah. show was the best MCU that I've seen. Like it was still MCU, but it was still not right. bad. Like and Guardians Three is probably the best thing that's going to come out of Phase Five. I know. I hated the trailer though. I hated I did, the trailer. I I didn't mind it. Yeah, I know. Many of you guys have liked it. I just looked at it and I just thought I, I, I just saw Zootopia. That's what I, I saw. I saw, saw our time. I saw. I saw <laughs> my my biggest my biggest re- re- response was Adam. The where have you been? Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. I mean that's it's it's so nonsensical that he was not uh, why, in why the Guardians Guardians too. Uh, yeah. Why wasn't he in the Why wasn't he in Infinity War or Endgame? Well, if he was interested in Guardians 2, he would have been set up to be the person with the gauntlet, which would have at least aligned with the original content. And there's so little that would have had to be done to make that happen. I don't right. I don't understand it. Like so. I know. Um, <laughs> well, my friend. Yes. I appreciate you doing this. And for uh, those of you at home, guys, if you have comments. My, it is and, my pleasure, my, my friend. Ted. My Thank pleasure. Um, trying to do a little more evergreen type like ways to help people and that kind of thing. I think that... Uh, you you inspire me to uh, never make an excuse to press through whatever issue or challenge I have in front of me. It's like you know, folks like you who've you you have something that a lot of people will just use as an excuse or a crutch. And you not only do this like for a living, pushing through it. Now it's like you've documented <laughs> your voice. You've documented your voice forever on YouTube. It's it's freaking cool. And I hope people can see it that way. So uh, all, all the stuff to connect to uh, Joker is in the comments. So make sure you guys do that. And uh, thank you so much for being with us. Bye.